deen is totalizing. It wants everything from us. It wants us to think like the deen. It's not like I've got my own way of thinking. And if the deen makes sense, then khalas, I'll accept that part. This part doesn't make sense. That's not, I'm not going to accept it. That's why there's some people have asked me a question like, has there ever been any issue of the faith that's troubled you? So I asked like, what do you mean by trouble me? Sometimes we get questions. They say that, oh, this has happened in my life and uh, it's shaken my faith. I said, why does your faith shake? My faith has never shook. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, my faith has never shook. That doesn't mean I've not had questions about things. That doesn't mean that, you know, in all the hadiths that we read, the Quranic verses, you know, the more you're exposed to, there's going to raise questions because, and, I mean, we've been taught, we, we learn from different environments, we learn from different sources. We learn from, we're, we're reading the media, we hate the media, we still listen to the media, you know, we listen to the radio, we listen to other people, we see things, so there's constant uh, influx of information in our mind. And every bit of information that we take affects us in some way or the other. There's no doubt about it. It affects us in some way or the other, whether emotionally, academically, spiritually. Uh, in some way or the other, it's going to affect us. Now when we read the Qur'an, we're not just reading Qur'an all day. We've not, been, we've not grown up and lived just reading Qur'an and Sunnah. We're not, you know, I mean, maybe it was easier for the Sahaba. You know, maybe it was easier because they were living the life of the Qur'an with the Prophet ﷺ in their midst. So it was probably easier for them. But for us, it's that, that's something we do every now and then. You know, maybe some people, you know, we get to teach it. If you're a teacher of the deen, you get to teach it a few hours of the day, several hours a day if you're lucky. Otherwise, how much, how much new uh, material do you learn of the deen on a week? You know, on a weekly basis. How much, how much do you do? You know, so for a lot of people, if they're lucky, they get a Jummah lecture. So that is a competition, or there's so much competition to that of everything else, they're constantly learning, constantly taking in. So there's going to be cases when we learn something from, when you read something in the Quran, the Sunnah, that it's going to create a confusion in our mind. What does that mean? How do I apply that? What about in this particular scenario? How does that apply? That, yes, you get that. So what I do is I will go and try to find out from the more deeper books for the more profound books. So yeah, those kind of things happen. But it will never make me think like, hey, could this be that the Quran is wrong? You know, when you see a verse and it doesn't make sense to you straight away, should my approach be, hey, that means the Quran might be wrong. That doesn't happen, alhamdulillah. Or when I read a hadith, okay, in a hadith I'll say, okay, maybe this hadith is da'if, or maybe it could be fabricated if I don't know which source is coming from. That approach I do take. Because I know the boundary, so I can think that. But for somebody to keep saying, every time they get a bit of a confusion about a verse, then, oh, that shook my faith. Man, come on, what kind of a faith do you have? It's so weak that it keeps shaking. These hadith and Quranic verses, they're supposed to make you think. They're supposed to make you think and maybe sometimes be confused because that's how you're going to find out the truth. Because remember, every bit of information we have is not from the Quran Sunnah, unfortunately. Right? We get a lot of other information. So we're not going to reflect the Quranic message to what we already know. It's going to, there's going to be some give and take with that. We're going to have to try to understand. So it makes the deen shake. That's what it is. That's not the approach to the deen. The approach to the deen should be whatever the Quran says is true. I may not understand it. I have to find out. That just means that I need to find out. It doesn't mean my faith is shaking. No. 